All right, you want to turn on the Ozo? It's on. It's time to immerse you. Uh, Alex Lindsay, your pick of the week this week is that big round ball. My What's that pick thing of the week? coming out of the back? <laughs> So that is the battery and the memory. So the, what's coming out of the back there is... Is that a dead spot then? It's not really. So there is a little bit of a, a cavity behind it, that right behind it, which is actually kind of useful. You can put mics and all kinds right. of stuff back there. But the, the each lens is, 100 and I think, 192 degrees. So it's actually, you know, closes in behind it pretty quickly. And um, and uh, so it, this is the this is the Nokia Ozo. It does run on a Mac, so it's good for Mac break. Um, you know, in case you're wondering, all oh, the okay. controls. So that's a, so you said you get SDI out of it. So right. But, so it's a it's a yeah. It's a. It's so how would you get that version. into a Mac? So you actually uh, we look we can preview it, and I think that um, that they can show it, but that the preview, but we can preview it with a regular SDI. Um, uh, cable into a like a little mini recorder, like okay. a Blackmagic mini recorder. Okay. And so you can you can see it all there. Um, and so we can preview it there from the Mac. We can shade the cameras. We can oh, you know neat. make make adjustments, change a lot of the things. So it's the control, you know, is all is all done through that. The Mac, my laptop can actually sync up. There's a Wi-Fi inside of the camera, so that I I can't see all the the feeds, but I can I can control the camera, start record, stop record. Um, do all those things from from a laptop, um, so it's it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. And um, anyway, so it is, um, in my opinion. And, and again, we have a lot of rigs. <laughs> uh, we've been doing VR stuff. Uh, we've been doing 360 photos for tw I've been doing it for 20 years. Uh, video for the last two years, streaming for the last year and a half, and uh, or the last year. Um, and uh, this is the closest thing to just like a camera that you turn on and it works. You know. And so we're just testing it right now, but it's. I'm really excited about it. It is um, uh, sixty thousand dollars. You know, it's it's a production camera. Like this is a it's you know this spendy. is it's it seems like a lot. And again, what I said earlier is is not how much something costs as much as it is uh, how much. Uh, um, Eighty five point seven Alex's. Right. Yeah. So so the uh, uh, anyway. Yeah. So the um, uh, there. Yeah. There you go. There, there's your little comes kit. in a nice really pelican good. case. It does I like have a that. nice pelican case. Uh, and you know, the, the, you know, you can run and gun with it. So you, what it means, what, what I mean by that is that, uh, you can take all this tethering that we have off and it'll run for, I think about 45 minutes. And so you can just put it on a tripod, put it oh. on a jib, put it on something, steady oh. you know, so, so again, with the, all the other cameras that we've been playing with it, that takes some effort, Yeah, you know, you know, you're, you're either going to either always has to be connected or, you, uh, you know, with a GoPro, you're, you know, you know, we use a lot of GoPros. We have lots of them. We have GoPro rigs, um, but there's lots of little SD cards and you're pulling them all off and keeping track of them all. And, you know, this is just recording and then you pull it off and, and you can then, uh, you know, deal with it and everything's synced up. And oh, I shouldn't and so slump so while forth, you're so. talking because people can still see me. They can still, yeah, you, you can't get away <laughs> from oh, it. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, so. I was picking my nose. Yeah, so. There's so, no privacy. <laughs> yeah, so, so anyway, so the, um. Uh, but it, yeah, it, it's not, it, it's an investment. This is, this is a professional camera. This is not but going to be. But it's an investment. I think, you know, I, first of all, it's going to come down. Uh, and I really think this is kind of in many mm -hmm. ways, the future of our shows in particular, these kind of round table shows. Yeah. I think it's a great way to watch. Well, and we're designing, one of the things we're testing with this camera and with a couple other cameras is really testing building shows around the idea of VR. Yes. So that you feel like you can sit in, at the table I, or uh, around be, with us. You could make a rap show about um, Alexander Hamilton or something. And then, <laughs> so great. And then put it on the stage. I really would love to see a Broadway show where you're not in the audience looking through a proscenium arch at the performance, but you're sitting on the stage. Well, and, uh, oh, this is the view. All right. No, 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 this is me making fun. Oh, you loser! This <laughs> is a fake view that has been created by our t technical director, Jason Cleanthus. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, that would be. I mean, even theater would be really interesting. Well, and, and, I, right? and I'm really excited about. And one of the things we want to start doing tests with with cameras like this is the idea of um, when I always think of the Birdman. You know, where they they have that that kitchen scene, and you know, you want to sit up there yes. at the table and, and sit yes. there and watch as if you were in but the idea is is, is how do we design the play around that you yeah, know yeah. like or, or take a no, play no. and convert it to this but so what, what can happen experience. is is uh, now uh, point of, the idea of point of view is really changing because uh, normally a director and, and actors and everything in a movie or a TV show or even on a on a stage although there a stage is a little different but right. they direct your attention 
um, with this theater is nice because you can you can watch something mm -hmm. else right. uh, while it's going on. But uh, I love the idea. We always thought it'd be really fun to do of all of our shows have a multi camera kind of s switcher that you could switch yourself. Right. Um, but this would be even better because you can naturally look around. Right. And if you want to see Renee's reaction as Alex says something, you can <laughs> right. you can look at Renee. Um, right. There it is. There's the Birdman. So scene. I just always think yeah. this one would be interesting. And and, and what you're really choosing at this point would be. Where do you stand for that scene? And you know, and then we put you somewhere else where you yeah, stand you have to rethink scene. it. And you might and have things, uh, you know, the uh, Gear VR has a um, Cirque du Soleil performance. Which I think it's where just isn't it exciting. great? Yeah. And that's an example because there's stuff going on all around you. It's like a three ring circus. And so what you look at determines what performance you're seeing. And each time you do it, you could do a different performance. Well, and, and the other thing that we're thinking about is also how to layer this into a 360 experience that you might want to, rather than making it two hours long. We might want to make it or and try to just direct you with sound or whatever. What if we are thinking about you're watching this the first time this way, but you know that now maybe I should watch it looking over here, see what, yeah. how that affected this. Or, you, right. know, you know, and so that you're literally can do it over and over and over again. So, so much of the attention on VR is going towards gaming. And as the Oculus Rift comes out this week and people start getting it and what you do with it is you play right. games. But uh, I think really it's an interesting uh, way to have immerse, be immersed in a scene and be part of a scene. It is, sense. and I think the reason that, that it's for gaming right now is because that's the easy, I mean, it's easier, which is right. that you don't have to deal with these all these cameras and you don't have to deal with all of the layering and, right. the, you know, because it's still not perfect. Even with this camera, you're going to have right. little seams and if someone it's, gets too close from the back, you'll see that. Here's, or, you here's know, my things. experience. Yes, for instance, on the Gear VR, uh, you can see the screen door because you're close, so close to that screen, as good as the screen is. You can mm -hmm. see the pixels, but it, you quickly lose sight of that right. because the experience is so engaging. And and so I think that the flaws really kind of go to the background pretty darn quickly. Well, and also the some of the tests that we've seen some other folks working on as well, that are some of our partners, is what if you have, you're in there and then you want to bring out you know like i want more data like i'm watching right. we did some tests with uh pga tour and and uh which we talked about at south by southwest and one of the things we looked at in the future is that i could have the the you know the rankings i'm watching it but i could go like this with a controller or whatever and bring in the you know i can look at a heads up display on top of my right. streaming video and see where that golfer is and how many feet is going right. in front of them. And so there's a lot of things that I can add to it. It's not that I can just be in this experience. I can have all kinds of other experiences. I can even have my email or my SMS popping up in front of me while right. I'm watching in it does, the experience. It does have to make you rethink, though, things like television studios which are or movie th sets, oh, yeah. which are very carefully designed to use the camera as a framing mechanism. There's an, an out, You go right outside the camera frame and it's garbage. Yeah. And so we really can't. This set is actually a good a good uh, example of something that's not that way. We right. really wanted to make it a 360 degree set, but uh, but most TV stu studios are, you know. And I'm just, actually, I'm just thinking the, about what happens if I move this camera a little bit that way or a little bit that way. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, and, and I also that's bad news. Well, and I also think that, that one of the things going to be interesting for this or that we that we we're looking at is also the idea of an extra for movies. So you know, wouldn't it be really cool to to see a Hobbit shot? You know, or or a Matrix shot, or a Star Wars shot, where you're able to. Well, that's gonna. Happen. Um, and then it's gonna happen that's this happen year soon. And, and yeah. so what's gonna happen is, is that oh, when you're watching the DVD or you're watching the thing on iTunes, you're gonna be able to go. Oh, I want to. Something little pops up and you click on it. You know, like the White Rabbit in the old Matrix. Right. And you suddenly pop into what it what it looked like when they were shooting it. You yeah. know that that type of that thing is. Um, you know, I I would love to see the VR applied to the like the White Rabbit tour in um, the Matrix. If no one's right. seen the White Rabbit tour. Um, mm -hmm. I would suggest it. You know what's uh, also the case is that gamers are already used to this because when you're playing a first-person shooter, you do control the camera. You can right. look over, or Minecraft for that matter. You can look right. over your back, or behind you. You can look all around. So we're already in an immersive 360-degree world, much like our normal world. Right. It, this is an easy. I think this is easy to make this next step. Well, thank you for uh, for making this possible and bringing along the uh, Ozo from Nokia. And it's a pick, but you can't get it yet, right? I mean, it, uh, you can. They are on sale. Now? You can okay. you can get one. Uh, they just went on sale, I think, last week. So they're nice. they're um they're they're shiny and brand new. They're selling like Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people that are buying them right now are uh, rental companies. You know, yeah. some production companies and a lot of rental companies. Oh, but companies. see, that's a good idea. You could go to somebody like B&H and say, I'd like to rent the Ozo for a day. Maybe right? not B&H, but well, somebody definitely like, high -end, yeah. like high-end rental companies that, you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that, that are getting Hollywood's. one, two. I mean, I, I was talking to somebody who bought one, and then they got 
No, they got three. <laughs> because they three. Were already paid the first one off. Well. You know, because yeah. right now everyone wants to try it and they'll right. spend a thousand dollars a day to give it a shot. Right. The Ozo from Nokia, a great pick. You've outdone yourself, my friend. I think that's my record. I think it is the records. Eighty-five point seven Alex's. Yes. 